Good morning, it's Julie from the Scrappy Tree here, and today I'm going to show you how you are going to use some Faber-Castell gelatos and a rubber stamp, and I'm going to show you how you can use those to make a watercolored background image for a card or, you know, uh, maybe a bookmark tag, whatever you'd like to use it for. So, first step is to pick out your gelatos. And remember the gelatos are like our pigment of color. And they're super fun to work with, like when we did our Emboss Resist video. And they're just so much fun to work with. Um, but we can also, we can do so many things with this. I mean, they're great for art journaling and mixed media, but they're also great for just simply coloring. They're great for watercolor as well. If you like the look of watercolor, it's something fun to play with. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna take the stamp. The stamp um, is a clink stamp from Unity. And I'm gonna color on a butterscotch gelato for the flower center. And I'm not pushing real hard. I'm just doing a nice little, just kind of getting the color to show up. I'm going to use grape and lavender. I don't know if you can quite see this. Okay. So I'm going to apply some of the grape on the inner circle. And I do apologize. You're going to hear some kids in the background today. They're just kind of playing and having fun. And I'm going to do this lavender on the outside edge of the flower. Okay, and then in order for them to, you know, have this watercolor look, I'm going to have to spritz them. Okay, so there's my stamp with the gelatos. Um, by the way, I do apologize for all the magazines you see on the left-hand side um, of your camera shot, but that's the only way I have my, <laughs> my camera is precariously balanced on like a stack of three feet of magazines um, so I can get the shot with both my hands free. I really need to invest in a tripod. I just have not done so yet. <laughs> but anyway, so this is kind of what we're working, working with today, a rigged camera that is kind of precariously balanced and hopefully not going to fall. Um, anyway, once I got the gelatos on, I'm going to just give, whoop, I should actually spray the stamp. That would be helpful. I'm going to use my mini mister of water. And I'm going to give a few spritz. A little few sprays and it's gonna depend you know if you like a super watercolor look then you're gonna want it pretty wet if you don't really like a, a huge watery mess um, you know don't spritz as much water um, if you're kind of worried and you don't know what it's gonna look like you might want to stamp it first on a scrap sheet of paper but I kind of know I've done this a while so I kind of know what it's gonna end up looking like so I'm using my stamp press, and I am pressing down there, lift it up, and I've got some of my flower there, and you can tell it's, you know, it's just a watercolor image, and remember it's going to end up permanent color when it dries. Um, I'm going to do it again. Now you could spritz it again if you don't want, you know, another like kind of solid, um, solid color flower, but... I'm going to just use my gelatos again. And again, it, it doesn't matter. You know, if you get a little of the other color on it, wipe it off with your finger or a baby wipe. It's not going to hurt the gelato at all to get another color on it. Not like some markers. Okay, I'm going to put my grape on. And then again, finally, my lavender. And I'm putting it on as if I put lipstick on something. Move that there, and I'm gonna spritz again. Gave it three spritzes. I'm gonna kind of stamp it off again. Okay, and that one is a lot juicier. Look at that one. So I've got a good contrast. I've got a light one as my first one, and one that is a lot deeper, richer color as my second. So now if I kept going, I can clean it off. Um, you're going to mostly want something more than a baby wipe to clean it off because I'm using a baby wipe and it's getting, I mean, look at it, it's getting a ton of color off, but you're still going to be left with, you know, a little bit of stuff there. If you have a washcloth, 
I would recommend that. It'll get into those spots and scrub it out a little better. Um, but if you keep going, you can do some other color combinations. I used, I used blues. I used, I used some pinks. And I also, I kept the butterscotch color, the constant middle. Um, but I switched out my flower colors a little bit. And then I just stamped it randomly along the way until that one got a little more juicy than I probably would have liked. But, um, you know, it's something that you, it's just fun to play with. You're going to get a fun little image. And then what you can do, um, by the way, the sentiment stamp there is also from Unity. But you can mount this on a card back or card base excuse me now you could you know cut it down use it as another background for something it's just something kind of fun to play with i hope you've learned something today and i hope you come back and see another video of what gelatos can do we'll definitely be doing more with them in the future have a great day